Hey guys, it's Aaron here. I've got a quick tip for you, uh, for those of you who are using Ableton and Reason uh, with Rewire. I use Reason and I've got several instruments in Reason and I rewire it back into Ableton as I'm playing live. If For those of you who haven't seen my other videos, I use Ableton as my uh, exclusive live host, both for running tracks and live instruments. And that does include Reason and Rewire. So um, one frustration that I've had when using Rewire is that there isn't a way to directly control or send MIDI uh, CCs back to Reason. Uh, the, the reason I want to do that is so that I can control combinator parameters. If you've used the combinator device in Reason, you know that you can assign uh, different parameters to the rotary knobs and the buttons on the front of the combinator module. And that's great, and there's a lot of things I would do with that if I could get a MIDI CC sent from Ableton over to Reason. So uh, I've got Reason set up here. Let me just open up my uh, master sound file. Just to start, uh, since I'm using it through Rewire, I make sure I don't have any MIDI being sent directly to Reason here. I don't have any control services set up. Um, and of course, all audio is handled by the rewire uh, driver here. So let's switch back to Ableton. I've got a MIDI channel here and a couple audio tracks, uh, each one bringing in audio from rewire, depending on you know, where I need to route it. Uh, I, I usually have three to four audio outputs from rewire coming back into Ableton. But anyway, we know that a quick way to send MIDI over to a uh, Reason device is to change the MIDI destination uh, to Reason and then select the device. I'm going to use this huge pad as a demo here. So uh, if I scoot this out of the way, you can see I've got my MIDI monitor set to in and then anything that I play is uh, coming over here to this huge pad. Now I've got the filter frequency clear down, but this is the knob that I want to be able to control from Ableton. So I did find there is a way to do that with envelopes. If you create an empty uh, MIDI clip, uh, let me bring this back so we can see the whole window. Uh, there is an envelope. If you change the, uh, the envelope that you're controlling to the MIDI control, you can now uh, select from all these uh, MIDI CC numbers to send back to that uh, rewire device. So the rotary 1, 2, 3, 4 knobs actually correspond with MIDI CCs 71 through 74. So we can see that here. In fact, I can draw in a line here. Um, and in order to get a clip to play back, uh, we have to change the MIDI monitor back to auto. Um, and then I'm also going to arm the track just so I can play it as well. So now, if I play this clip, we can see that it is sending MIDI CC 71 back to uh, Combinator here through Rewire. And if I were to play that, you can hear what that filter is doing. I'm going to stop that here and get rid of that. That's great, but I, I can't control an envelope uh, parameter with a hardware control. And I'd much prefer to use a knob or a slider on my MIDI controller to do that as well. So I set out to uh, create a Max for Live device, and that was quickly cut short because I found a device that was already created. I'll put a link to this device in the video description, so check it out for yourself. But essentially, this Max for Live device sends uh, MIDI CCs to an external instrument. So with a quick bit of reconfiguration here, um, I'm going to change my MIDI destination back to no output. Uh, and I'm also just going to set that MIDI monitor back to on and uh, disarm the record here. But if I drop in an external instrument onto this MIDI channel, here is where we'll set the reason destination. So I'm going to go back here and uh, set my huge pad. And you can see it's doing the same thing. There is a MIDI going through rewire and you can see exactly what it's doing there uh, but here's the device that I just downloaded that sends MIDI CC numbers to that external instrument um, I drag that in here right before the external instrument we can set which MIDI numbers we want to send in my case I want a rotary one which is MIDI CC 71 and the 
this first control is now going to uh, be mapped to MIDI CC71. So looking here, uh, over here at Rotary 1, this knob is now sending MIDI CC71 through rewire, uh, through the external instrument, and it's controlling that combinator device. So this is fantastic because I can map any one of these buttons to a hardware control. So let me switch over here. There it is. I'll just map that to a s slider on my controller for now. And I can play and adjust my hardware control and everything is right there at my fingertips. If I wanted to uh, control rotary number two, I would just need to set up a mapping sending MIDI CC72. And you can see that my second knob is now controlling rotary two over here as well. So this will work with any uh, rewire device here. If I wanted this to be one of my other devices, I would just change that here, a CP80. Let me get this scooter back out of the way. You can see that uh, control knob one is sending 71 over to my CP80 combinator. So this is great. If you had a uh, instrument rack set up, you could have several of these external MIDI control devices and external instruments uh, sending to several different reason instruments if you had. And uh, pair that up with a another Max for Live device that I use from Isotonic Studios that allows you to control multiple parameters with one knob, you could uh, potentially have one knob set up sending all kinds of CC numbers back to Rewire and Reason. So that's it in a nutshell. I uh, hope that helps you. I know it has helped me greatly. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll check back with you later uh, with another tip sometime in the future. We'll talk to you later.